The design on this F-16 display holds a special meaning. It is painted the same as the one that Major Bryson Phillips flew during an air show on March 19, 2000. Major Phillips was flying as part of the 9th Air Force F-16 demonstration team when his aircraft crashed during one of the last maneuvers of his performance. Tech Sergeant David Folger talked about what it means to him and his crew to restore this special paint job. It's a very honorable thing to do. It means a lot for us to be able to do it, not only for ourselves, but for everyone who drives through the base and gets to look at it on a daily basis. Normally, the airmen of the corrosion control flight would sand a jet inside their climate controlled paint booth. However, when the jet is hard mounted on a pedestal 30 feet up in the air, the process presents them with a whole new set of challenges. Tech Sergeant Folger talked about how much different this process is than the one that they normally use. This process requires a lot more thought in the process of going about and permissions from outside agencies such as DHEC and Bioenvironmental. DHEC, or the South Carolina Department of Health and Environmental Control, and the Bioenvironmental Flight grant permission for the airmen to use hazardous materials. Essentially what's happening is they're agitating the previous coating. It's a mechanical bond between the uh, new paint and the old paint. After two long days of sanding, the jet is completely sanded and ready for new paint. Senior Airman Chris Beaver, Shaw Air Force Base, South Carolina.